microscopic art, a sculpture of the astronaut Neil Armstrong landing on the moon, or Hollywood star Marilyn Monroe in an iconic pose atop a one-carat diamond. The My Little Eye Gallery in central London shows unique artworks. The scenes are visible only under a microscope, enlarged 400 times. These miniatures actually fit through the eye of a needle. The degree of detail is amazing. In this scene from the children's classic Alice in Wonderland, you can even see the folds on the tablecloth. I had to lift her with one of my own eyelashes, very, very gently, and then put her between the chair and between the table. And as I was lifting, my phone went off and I got a bit angry and I went... and I looked and I inhaled. Alice. Alice is smaller than, it's about a third of the size of a full stop in a newspaper. Willard Wigan needs special conditions to make his pieces. To avoid disturbing vibrations, he works at night in a walk-in closet. His tools are tiny knives, chisels and hooks he makes himself. His materials range from carpet fibers to grains of sand. Even as a child, he practiced till he had a steady hand. The pulse in my finger can be very detrimental. So what I have to do, I have to work between my heartbeat as I'm sculpting. Sometimes I can use my pulse as a little jackhammer. He creates tiny treasures like this replica of the Lloyds building in London. Wigan's miniature edition in white gold and platinum fetched 100,000 euros at an auction. Collectors of his miniature artworks range from the German-American magicians Siegfried and Roy to Prince Charles. In 2007, the Prince of Wales even presented Willard Wigan with an MBE for his services to art. It's something that, that you don't expect. You know, I knew, I knew what I had, but I never thought my work was special until people kept telling me, because I still couldn't quite understand. And then when they told me how good I was, then I became better. The British artist grew up in Birmingham in modest circumstances. Because of his dyslexia, he retreated as a child into his own fantasy world, building sculptures so small that no one could see or criticize them. With time, his art became tinier and tinier. My skill started a long time ago. When I was five, I, I used to make furniture for ants. When you, when you work in there for a long time, everything seems big, because you've been looking down the microscope for a long time. Willard Wigan works obsessively for up to three months on a single piece. Afterwards, he says he needs several weeks to relax. At 52, he's made about 180 miniatures. He's collected pictures of them in a book. If I can do one camel, that's not enough. I can do, now do nine camels. I can do 20 camels in the eye of a needle. Even though I create the smallest artwork in the world, I'm not satisfied because I can take it much smaller. The art of Willard Wigan. With it, he shows how greatness can be achieved on even the tiniest of scales.